Glacier National Park is comprised of pristine habitats. It's known for its grizzly bears, its moose, its mountain goats. What a lot of people don't know are all the bats that live here also. And Glacier provides incredible habitats for a number of bat species. And right now, with white nose looming on the horizon, they're at risk of their populations being decimated here in the park. White nose syndrome is caused by a cold-loving fungus that affects bats during hibernation. It was first found in a cave in New York in 2006, and the bats had no natural immunity against it. It has decimated up to six to seven million bats in eastern North America. Since 2006, white nose syndrome has spread rapidly. It's only a matter of time before white nose syndrome arrives here in Glacier National Park. One of our main goals here in Glacier National Park is to do a complete inventory of the bat species. And to do that, we've overlaid a 10 square kilometer grid across Glacier. Our goal is to survey in each of those grid cells. Certain species forage over water, certain forage in the forest. So we have different types of nets depending on what species we're trying to target. We're really lucky to have just an amazing team of volunteers and staff that can really assist in that effort. The first thing I look at when we're processing a bat is what species. We look to see if it has a keel on the uropatasium or the tail, and if it does, it sends it into one category. If not, we know we're looking at something else. Um, you look at the ears, if it has big ears, you know you have a long-eared bat. Uh, we measure the forearm length, that's really indicative of what species. We look at what gender, we look at overall health, we always record if we see scarring on the wings or any holes, or mites, parasites, bed bugs, things like that. It's a real adventure doing bat surveys in Glacier National Park, which it really is, because you never know what you're going to encounter. A cow moose and her calf just walked through one of our nets. So they're probably, if not totally trashed, they're at least knocked down and we'll have to go reset them and see what they're like. <laughs> it is an adventure surveying for bats in Glacier National Park and that's one of the best parts of this job. <laughs> One of our main tools to assess the impacts of white nose syndrome once it arrives here is to conduct emergence counts. Uh, the little brown bat is most susceptible to white nose syndrome and it is also the most likely one to roost in human structures. We are going to do an emergence, bat emergence count at this building. It is the car wash building. A little after the sunset, we expect to see our first bats come out. And usually they'll come out slowly and then bam, 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 if there's a lot of them. So right now, some of our roost sites here in Glacier have hundreds and one site exceeds a thousand bats emerging at night. And once white nose arrives here, we really expect to see a dramatic drop in those numbers. We can't be positive about the impacts of white nose syndrome on the ecosystems of Glacier National Park. We can make some educated guesses though. We would predict that we would see a reduction in species like owls and hawks that prey upon bats. Also some of the small mammals that find roost sites. I think one of the most serious ecological consequences of white nose arriving is greater insect numbers. Bats provide a really strong biological control for many of the insects here in the park that kill trees. So we expect that we would see more red trees in the park, which makes our landscapes more prone to large wildfires. The main impetus for initiating the Glacier Bat Inventory Monitoring Program was to collect baseline data pre-white nose syndrome arrival. We literally knew nothing about bats here in Glacier. And yes, we could have chosen not to do surveys and not to learn anything about our bats, but then once white nose arrives, there is no way that we could assess the impacts of the disease on bat populations here in Glacier. Okay, hurry up there. 
there? 